Hello again, Fat Boys lovers, which probably aren't too many of us because Fat Boys went out of business like over 20 years ago. But I like these things. I can't even remember how I discovered them, but uh, they're very <laughs> unique in their deformation. If you do find that you like this video, I do have a few others on Fat Boys. But here's a resource called PureMicros.com. I believe it's mostly micro machines based. But the, whoever put this website together shows the majority of the Fat Boys castings they were put together. So, But they also have, at the bottom of this page, uh, there's another brand, uh, Flat Riders, here. And there's a little blurb about it. And so I bought these all on eBay, loose, uh, a couple different orders, actually. I'm just trying to get one of each casting of the uh, Fat Boys, but these are just thrown in with a different, uh, with an eBay listing. So you can see here, this is an Auto World Mercury Cougar. And generally these are around 164 scale in width. They're actually wider than this Cougar though. But they're like around half the length and also around half the height. So you could probably, you can basically stack like f four of these things in the space of one uh, medium sized car. So <laughs> that's the deformation, it's just craziness. All right, here are these uh, flat riders, which is just two fantasy vehicles entirely. Uh, and they're a lower grade, it seems, than uh, Fat Boys. And Fat Boys aren't really high grade either, but they're definitely better than what we're looking at. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to focus on this. It's, there we go. So we do have this faded color from an orange, yellow. Well, I guess that is orange going to like a red. It's obviously been played with by someone. Uh, it's got these plastic wheels, five spokes with the exposed axles like a Hot Wheels. And then, no indication of headlights whatsoever. It is a die cast body, but the plastic is uh, here on the bottom. So, you can see it's pressed fit together like a Hot Wheels as well. You can also see the tires are very wide, because they're fat. Uh, some venting, some black paint for the windows. Little, I kind of a door indication. No taillights. So these are really lame, <laughs> these flat flat riders. And I can totally understand why this company went out of business. Uh, Speed Freaks, it says, shows on that image back there. So this is some sort of sports coupe or something. Uh, it's hard to even say what the inspiration for this was because it's, there are no lights. Doesn't even, it does roll, okay. This is clearly a pickup. And now this one does have lights in the grill. Just really muted. Uh, this one actually has wiper blades though. And some venting there. Black paint on the windows. Same wheels. A fade from a blue to a dark blue. I like that there's ribbing back here. Let me like a third brake light there. Tail light. So this is definitely the better of the two. You can see the base is actually not even rib press fit well. I don't know if that was just the way it was when it was new or you know this has been abused by a kid. All right. All right, we got those lame ones out of the way. So now we, we have uh, the actual Fat Boys. And so this is a fantasy vehicle here. And, but does have, you know, reminders of a... These headlights look familiar. I don't know what... Uh, please leave a comment if you, as to what you think inspired this vehicle. Uh, so the silver on the headlights is nice and there's a little recess for them as well. The grill is recess painted black. These recesses here have some orange turn signals. Uh, the intake is recessed. The whole bottom of the car is painted black and uh, the top is probably raw plastic maybe. Yeah, I think this body is plastic. You can see, yeah, it's just a plastic molded pla uh, purple. Then we have some raised flame, or the center of the hood is raised, but they printed on these flame stripes next to it. And then the windows actually don't look, I don't think they're black, I think they're like a dark blue. This one has casted in mirrors, uh, and these stripes are here on the side as well, the door handle's raised. It's just got some plain like disc wheels, but exposed axles again. Uh, big wide tires again. And so PB here is supposed to be Fat Boys, I guess. They didn't actually put the text of what this thing is called, though. I guess they didn't even bother coming up with a name for it. All right, this side looks fine. Now the rear, this reminds me of like a an old Fiat or a Testarossa. 
Okay, vertical ribbing for the taillights, painted red. Orange turn signal dots here, dimples. And then a big grill, horizontal grill, nice. And then the exhausts here are painted silver. So definitely a lot more detail, even on this fantasy casting. So very cool. Uh, I actually prefer the bodies to be plastic, but uh, and you do not. And it rolls just as well. All right, so now let's get into some real cars that have deformed in this crazy fashion. This is a Subaru Legacy. So you got fog lights uh, painted silver within the black, and then you have black here, and there's actually some ribs in there, like radiator ribs. And then you have some uh, ribs here vertically in the grill, and you have the ovoid silver there. Uh, the headlight, you know, painted nicely, and the turn signals as well. You got some panel details for the hood hood gap there in the raised hood center. You have some raised uh, wiper blades painted black and again like a dark blue or maybe it's a purple uh, windscreen and all the windows actually. This one has some um, five spokes but uh, there's no black paint in the air recesses and against exposed axles. They are plastic wheels slash tires. Uh, this one just says Subaru. Would have been cool if they wrote Legacy there. Uh, maybe it's called something else in Japan. Maybe that's why they don't do that. All right, so big wide tires, and actually they stick out of the bodywork, so I'm not a fan of that. Uh, there's a screw holding the middle together. This side here, yeah, they didn't print quite enough in the windows there. Molded in mirrors, little finger recess, and the raised uh, door handle, the little door rubs there, raised. Uh, going to the back, we have some painted tail lights. Uh, it's hard to kind of see, but there's a, uh, I don't know actually, Maybe there is no red. I don't see red on the taillights. Or is it there? I don't see it. But I definitely see the orange and the silver there. Even the license plate is painted that silver. The exhaust is a recess painted silver. The molded in wing there is pretty cool. There's a little air gap underneath it. Yeah, very neat. <laughs> They're so funny. All right, so that's a random car. I think I've reviewed a WRX before, but this one I had to get because it has a WRC rally livery. So you can see there's a really faint texture in the grill, the ovoid here for the Subaru logo. It looks like a bigger texture in this these recesses here. So black and silver here for those uh, lamps. You can see the tiny air intakes on this Subaru and the uh, brake ducts as well recessed. And then the big bug eye lamps and there's a little bit of a orange or yellowish turn signal on there as well. Or maybe these are the turn signals that molded in feature. And then, yeah, cool, the 555 cigarette uh, logo there. But also with stars of the Subaru. Interesting, they blended the two together. I guess they don't want to promote tobacco to these little kids that bought these back when these were new. There's actually still black paint in these two vents. kind of wish they put them in there as well. Raised wiper blades and some sort of banner print there. Going to this side, you got the that combo logo there, 555 and Subaru. Five spokes again, windows. You have some door handle details, the molded in mirrors. You can see the wing top view looks pretty nice. And then, uh, yeah, the taillights, they're red with the backup lights painted in there. A double exhaust molded in silver and then a white license plate area. Even a little key lock mechanism there in the little recess here in the trunk. So it's amazing how much detail they get into this. Oh, also, you have a little stubs for the wiper fluid. I mean, this model is so short. <laughs> it's, it's really crazy, the details. That's why I'm collecting them. I reviewed this one before. It's a uh, 49 Mercury, I believe. And someone touched it up with some paint, I think. So I don't know. This, again, I didn't want this model but it just came with the other ones I did want so I'm not going to talk about this one you can look up the other review okay yeah these other three I've reviewed before these are just different colors uh, so this is a Toyota RAV4 yeah you can see the fender flares are a different color all the vent details very cool logo details wiper blades roof rubs even a spare spare tire what this is actually rubber. I didn't expect that. Sorry, some sort of hair. Ugh, that ain't my hair. That's eBay hair. So that's interesting, that rubber thing. Okay, tiny paint details on these lights. Really cool. 
license plate, all that stuff. So screw it together, big wheels again. Alright, and the last one, you know, I reviewed in a different colorway, but this is so cool looking, I thought I'd show it again. The Lexus IS300, so you can see the tail lamps and the badging and all that stuff. Some sort of funky graphics though. Uh, the texture is again very nice, all the little paint details, raised wiper blades. This one's been quite abused. Alright, so that's it for the Fat Boys. Well, I've got a few other Fat Boys uh, coming in from eBay, so uh, stay tuned. There'll be at least another video on uh, these guys. And since I'm in the US right now, you know, shipping is much cheaper, so I'm going to try to get some more castings as they pop up on eBay. Alright, so thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next Fat Boys video.